What is going on guys? It is JBob here back again with another tutorial showing you guys how to join servers on Minecraft Bedrock Edition here on the Xbox One. Now this is kind of an updated version of the tutorial that I made a few weeks ago showing off this method of joining servers here on the Xbox by changing around some of our DNS settings. Now many of you guys have found success with that tutorial I made a few weeks ago and have since been playing on all the awesome Minecraft Bedrock servers like my very own server StupidCraft which we'll get more on later. But uh, yeah, some of you guys were having some issues and I wanted to uh, make this video kind of updating the tutorial with some tips and tricks and maybe some troubleshooting that uh, you guys can do to kind of fix some of the issues that you're having with this tutorial. But real quick before we get into it guys, a quick shout out to Pug Matt, who was actually the YouTuber who first found this method of joining servers on Minecraft Bedrock here on the Xbox. So huge shout out to him. I'll have his channel linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. But yeah, first things first, you actually want to make sure you're playing on the correct version of Minecraft. I know that sounds kind of silly, but there's actually two versions of Minecraft that you could be playing on here on the Xbox One. And uh, sadly, one of these versions does not work with this tutorial. You want to have Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and uh, that's the one that's called just Minecraft here. As you can see, it's called Minecraft and nothing else after that. Whereas the other version, Minecraft Xbox One Edition, will not work with this tutorial. So if you have that one, I'm sorry, it's not going to work. I would recommend maybe getting this one. This is kind of the more updated version of the game anyhow. So yeah, just make sure you have this version. And we want to make sure it's also up to date. So if you want to come over here to your Manage tab and go to your Updates, and you can check to see if any of your games need updates, including Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is just called Minecraft. But guys, now that we know we are playing on the right version of Minecraft and we got our game all up to date, let's go ahead and head over into our network settings. So go ahead and open up your Xbox menu, scroll all the way to the right and find your settings, open them up, and uh, come up here to the very top to your general settings and find your network settings. And now that we are here in the network settings, we're going to head on down to the advanced settings and open them up. And as you can see, here we are in the advanced settings. And uh, yeah, there's a few things that I want to point out to you guys. So first of all, this screen may look slightly different from what you're seeing because uh, I have blurred out all of my personal information for the sake of this video. So that's why my screen may look slightly different from yours. But as well, as you can see, I'm using a wired connection. Now you could either be using a wired or Wi-Fi or wireless, whatever it's called. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to point that out because it's kind of weird to have a wired connection in 2020. <laughs> Everyone's using Wi-Fi, but uh, yeah, you can use either or it does not matter but uh, below that this is something that does matter and I feel like a lot of you guys were kind of struggling with in the last video uh, so I wanted to point this out so as you can see guys I have IPv4 for my network setup now there's two options that you can have here IPv4 or IPv6 now IPv6 sadly does not work with this tutorial you have to have IPv4 for your network setup now, I personally don't know too much about all of this, the IPv4 versus IPv6, um, but I do know you have to have IPv4 for your network setup for this method to work. Now, you can actually change your network from IPv6 to IPv4, but it is a little bit complicated. It's not nothing too crazy, but uh, you are going to have to maybe do a little bit of research and uh, look up a tutorial on your own because it's something you have to do within your router settings and there's lots of different routers out there and different models and it's really different for everyone. So what I would do if you are using IPv6 is, uh, yeah, just maybe look up a tutorial like how to change IPv6 to IPv4 for your specific router, whatever model number it may be. Or uh, if you're really looking for some help, uh, maybe contact your internet company or whoever set up your network and uh, see if they can maybe walk you through how to do that for your specific router. So yeah, a little bit more intensive with that, but uh, yeah, I feel like most people do use the IPv4. So yeah, hopefully if you guys are on IPv6, you were able to get it all switched over to the IPv4 and we can continue on with this tutorial, which is down in our DNS settings. Now, I do want to explain the DNS settings here a little bit. Uh, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and we're basically just changing the settings around and giving it a different, like, uh, it's kind of like a phone book almost, like, uh, 
It's uh, like your your Xbox's way of saying like, oh, well, we have to call up this this server or we want to call up this game server or whatever, you know? It's basically just like the way your Xbox connects to things. Um, but basically, we're going to be changing this around so that way when we're in Minecraft, when we click on one of our featured servers, it will change it so that way we connect to one server specifically, which will allow us to jump onto other servers. So yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. You really won't be messing with anything on your Xbox. Everything will continue to work fine. Um, but yeah, you can also change this back at any time um, by just changing it from manual to automatic. So what we're going to be doing, go into your DNS settings and go ahead and change it from automatic to manual. And you're going to want ahead and type in this address here, which is 104-238-130-180. You can go ahead and pause the video here if you need, but that is our primary address. And then if we go ahead and hit enter here, once we got that all in, we'll go ahead and type in the secondary one, which is 8888. And uh, yeah, once you got all that, you can go ahead and hit enter one more time. And then it's going to do a little checky check once we go back, making sure the connection's all good. And bing bada boom, we are good to go. Now, one thing I would recommend at this time is just to go ahead and restart your Xbox. So that way it will clear your little network cache as well as make sure all of these changes do go into effect. But yeah, once you get your Xbox all restarted and everything is all good, you can go ahead and open up Minecraft. And now that we have Minecraft all loaded up, go ahead and click play and go ahead and navigate over to your servers page. Now one surefire way to make sure that everything has worked so far in this tutorial is if you see the uh, join to open servers list underneath all of the names of the featured servers here. So as you can see, all of these say join to open server list. Now the hive doesn't actually say that, so you only can do it with these these four, the Mindplex, Lifeboat, Cubecraft, and Mindville. So yeah, make sure you're using one of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and use Mindplex since it's the first one here on the list. But once you go ahead and open this up, you'll get loaded onto the server that we set our DNS settings to directly connect to. And now here we are on the server. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour around and show you guys how to use this little menu here, as well as just go over some extra information. So real quick up here at the top, this is where you'll be joining servers. So basically if you have any server IPs or a server you wanna join, just type in the IP here and make sure you have the correct port. And then uh, you can join the server by just clicking submit. But if you would like to add the server to your servers list, which is the screen we were just previously on, go ahead and check this little box here. And uh, yeah, this is great for uh, servers that you're going to uh, frequently be playing on. So if you have a server that you know you're gonna be playing on a lot, I would recommend checking this little box here. But uh, yeah, back here on, on the main screen, you can also remove a server just by clicking this button and you can choose from whatever server you want to remove. But then uh, down here, you also have all of the featured servers like the Hive, Mindplex, and all of these down here, which you can also still join by clicking on them here. Now, a few little things with this setup, with this, uh, this server, it is a little bit buggy, so be patient with it. Um, it may take a few tries to get a server added or join a server. And uh, yeah, it's just a little bit buggy. It may kick you off back to the, the server screen a few times, but it does work. And uh, yeah, just be a little bit patient with it, all right? <laughs> but um, yeah, otherwise, that's, that's pretty much everything. I'm going to go ahead and join my server, StupidCraft, here, which you can find more information about in my Discord server, which is linked down below. But as you see, we're going ahead and loading into my server. And uh, I'll actually just go ahead and show you guys around a little bit, uh, just for the funsies, in case you guys are interested in joining. But uh, in the meantime, if you guys are, are having trouble with joining servers, um, once you got to the server menu, uh, I would recommend maybe contacting the server that you would like to join. Uh, because uh, some servers may not be online anymore and uh, you just have to check to see what information is out there on the server and make sure you got the right IP as well as port for the server. Now this is my server StupidCraft and as I said you can find all the information to join the IP, the port, as well as the rules and everything you need to know for the server in my Discord server which is again linked down below. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I tried to go as in depth as I possibly could with this tutorial with all the things that could possibly uh, be an issue for you guys with this method of changing the DNS settings around. But uh, 
yeah, that, that's that's pretty much just about everything. As you can see, we're playing here on the server. Everything's looking good. And uh, we're out here gaming now, boys, all right? <laughs> Looks like someone had fun and was opening up all my trap doors. What the heck? <laughs> But yeah, as well guys, I am going to be making a tutorial on uh, how to join servers on the Nintendo Switch since, uh, you know, it's a little bit different from Xbox and I just recently got a Switch and I've been enjoying playing Minecraft on it quite a bit. So I thought I would go ahead and make a tutorial on how to do the same setup with uh, joining servers with uh, changing the DNS settings around on uh, the Switch. So if you are a Switch gamer like me, uh, hang in there and I should have a tutorial out on uh, how to do all this over on the Switch in a few days. But again, guys, um, huge thanks to all of you guys' uh, recent support on the videos. If you wouldn't mind smashing a like if this tutorial helped you guys out, and uh, maybe subscribing, because uh, this is my server, and I make a bunch of videos on it, and I think you guys would enjoy it. But guys, without further ado, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I have been J-Bob. You guys have been awesome, and I will see you guys in the next one. J-Bob, out.